Hey everybody, it's Hai Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. We are looking at the SPX price action for Thursday, August 22nd. Uh, market start off, uh, started to go up in the, uh, in, the, in the beginning. However, you can see the ticks don't uh, really uh, support that. And somewhere around here, you, get the, you start getting the persistence. And of course, on this bar is when you have the third red dot, as you can see, and the RSI moving into the very bearish zone. And that would be this bar at uh, the SPX level of 29.27. So if you took the trade there, you would ride it through all these red dots. You would not get faded by this one. You could go all the way here and uh, after the second green dot is when you would get out which would be about 29.12 or 29.14 so that's about a 13 14, uh, 14 point uh, drop on the SPX which would have been a $2,500 trade and uh, after that although you see some persistent green dots the market is already very negative at this time and, and of course it did end, end up marginally negative as well. So these are generally not trades that you would take. Uh, you would want to wait for a persistent down move and uh, that really doesn't come as you can see. You can see some uh, red dots developing here. However, the RSI is in the bullish and so there's no trade there. And then uh, the only other trade possible was somewhere here towards the close and that too it doesn't really, uh, it, it goes into uh, the very bearish just barely and then comes out. So really this was the one good trade uh, which would have been worth about $2,500. This was for Thursday, August 22nd. Thanks. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions, you can go to this bit.ly link. Uh, bit.ly slash spx algo and you can find more information on how to get these indicators. Thank you.